Hey YouTube, this is your homeboy 7 Donna 4. I am doing a Wing Chun blocking drills on the wooden dummy and everything else. This is a voiceover. And you know, the reason why I do the wooden dummy because it's supposed to help harden the body or harden the wind arms and plus harden your fist um, when hitting the solid object. I have MMA gloves on. Yes, is that a little cheating? Yes, is that a little sissy in it? You can say whatever you want, but I'm not going to break my hand on a wooden dummy when hitting that full force without the gloves. And I, I seen this one guy doing it um, on an animation where he was doing his training. He had MMA gloves on. He was hitting the wooden dummy with full force. So I figured, well, I'm going to start doing some training like that again. You know, we're... I'm going to start hardening my arms, you know, to take blocks, to, you know, take punches and kicks, you know, when they come at me. Um, that's how I usually train on the wooden dummy, is that, you know, I would do different patterns of blocking. I would do different patterns of combinations. I would do different patterns of blocking and striking. I might just do blocking drills. I might, you know... You know, do like a little miniature form on it, and you know, I might teach. You know, no once in a while, I might have an instructional video on how how to actually apply it into a form of a way of fighting on the wooden dummy. You know, like let's say if you're want to learn how to use it at self defense, I might do something like that. No once in a while, um, it is very easy. You know, I don't really work on the wooden dummy that much, but you know, when I'm having an off day. Usually I try to work on my defense because I've been really on working on my offense which being, means being aggressive, being, you know, more of an attack mode um, but the thing of it is um, I need to be more like laid back and more like in a defense mode than kind of like, okay, being being the aggressor, being the aggressor all the time, and yeah, you know, you can get things done by being aggressive, but most people say, oh, you gotta use your fists, you know, if you want to end up being aggressive toward that person, you know, maybe, it, you know, you don't have to, in martial arts, you know, it don't teach you how to beat somebody up. It teaches you how to not use your fist to beat somebody up. It teaches you to um, basically it just teaches you to be humble, not not a bully. You know, yeah, there are cruel jerks out there. You know, there are cruel people out there. You know, that probably do deserve to get their ass kicked, but. And the thing of it is, you know, martial arts is not about kicking somebody's ass for no reason. Martial arts is about self-defense. Most people think, oh, they see it in the movies, oh, we'll, we'll learn martial arts, you know, and, and we'll get revenge and go around beating our bullies up. Well, no, it don't work that way. It don't work that way in real life. I mean... I've gotten into many fights when I was younger. Um, do I regret them? Um, some of them were not pretty. Some of them they were. And, and I mean, you know, but did the bullies ever bother me again? No. They quit bothering me. Once I started sticking up for myself and fighting back. Um, there was this one time, I remember in school, in the class, um, there, it, it, this kid in my class, he threw a water bottle at me, and, um, and it had water in it, and it hit me in the back of the head, so what I did, I let the cap loose a little bit, and, and I just threw it like a ninja star and, or a shuriken or something like where you, how you throw a knife. 
at somebody, except I threw I threw the bottle at him, and where the cap will come off, and where the water will go everywhere on him, and because he was being a jerk, and he was always, he was a class bully, the class clown, and so. What I did, I just grabbed the bottle, un unloosened it for a, a little bit, and I just chugged it at it. And I just threw it like a football. And it hit him, the cap came off, busted off, and water went all over him and everything. He started crying and everything, because and, I got him wet and everything. And, which, I'm the one that got in trouble, but he didn't get in trouble for throwing the bottle at me. And I told him, I said, well, he deserved it. I said, he hit me with the bottle in the back of the head. So I got payback. And I said, yeah, but I'm the one that got in trouble for it. And so that's the reason why, you know, uh, I never try to walk in the bully's footstep. And, but when the person pushes you that far, when you know that, you know, they're trying to hurt you, then, and leave marks on you after you leave school, then that's when you need to start taking things into your own hands. Not, you know, but the thing of it is, what I'm trying to say is, don't go, you know, just take them out on the playground and, you know, just say, hey, you know, if you want to, if you want to, mess with me, you know, just fight me, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, and, you know, have a fair fight, and, and just do it that way, I said, I've done that many times, and, and that's where we would meet at, after school, and, and I would tell my dad, and i will tell my mom, and I said, I'll call them up at, while they're at work, and I said, mom, I said, I have a problem, I said, I'm gonna be running late getting home, and, so, my best friend Danny, he ended up staying with me after school just to make sure I was going to be okay. Well, I started learning, picking up boxing at the time, and that's when I kind of started going into karate and everything. And now I was learning a little bit, a lot more than what I've already learned. And so, I used what I used for self defense. And I, and I said, meet me after school, and we'll settle this. I said, if I beat you, I said, no more harassing me the rest of the year. I said, if you harass me, I'll break your arm. And, and he, he's like, you wouldn't do that? I said, yeah, I would. So... I said, you don't know what I'm capable of. And I told him that. And he kind of just thought. And he's like, alright. I said, we'll do this. I said, but if I win, I can bully you the rest of the year. And I said, you could be my back. You could be my errand boy. And I said, deal. And I ended up winning the match. And his buddies jumped in. And I kicked their buddy's butt, his buddy's butts that were there to help him out. And they were all on the ground. And, he, and they said, you don't fight right and everything else. He said, they, you fight like those Chinese guys off of movies, kung fu movies. And, and I said, man, I said, three, three against one. You know, that's not a fair fight. I said, you had your buddies come in after the deal that was just between me and you. And so I had to use what I had to use. And then when I went to the school that night where I was training at, um, my instructor, he got pretty pissed because he knew I got into a fight. Because the principal called and told him that I was in a fight and that he was going to be late for class, that I was going to be fully late for the lessons. And so my mom ended up picking me up at school from me to class, and my sensei took me off the side. He says, let me see your hands. I had my gloves on, and I was getting ready to spar. 
and he says, let me see your hands. And I'm like, he says, you've been in a fight. And uh, he says, come in the office, let's talk. So, I told him the truth. I told him what happened. I said, hey, this kid, he's been bullying me all year round. And I got tired of him. So, I took care of him. And so, then when... And there were a lot of people watching me. And so when they knew I would beat him, they figured, well, other people were going to try to test me out now. And so they thought, oh, that was just a fluke that day. You know, they thought, well, he's just a punk. He's, he's just a wimp, you know. He ain't, he ain't that strong, you know. And so they, they kept on pestering me about some more and more. And then halfway through the semester, they just stopped. And on my senior year. And because they, I, I beat everybody up in my high school year. On my last senior, on my last, on my last year of school. And, and all of all the guys. And I became like the toughest dude in school. And... And, but I had other people respecting me. I wasn't really trying to be the tough guy. I was really trying to, you know, just mind my own business. And, but I used martial arts as self-defense. And there were a few times, you know, that, yeah, I almost got kicked out of my school because I kept fighting and, and everything. And I told the principal, that I had rods in my back and said they won't leave me alone. I went through all the five stages. I went, I followed the rules and you know, something's gotta happen. And, and he was like, okay. And he just went along as you went through the rules and everything. Teachers didn't help out and he had a right to defend yourself. And so I use martial arts for self-defense and some of the girls, they were impressed on how, how well I knew my stuff. And so sometimes some of the girls that were getting bullied, you know, like some of the popular chicks, you know, they were getting bullied by the other popular guys. They'll come hang out with me. And because they thought, oh, well, I'll just hang out with Seth, around Seth, because he knows his martial arts and stuff. You know, he'd be our bodyguard or something like that. And which I didn't mind, you know, you know, pretend to be their bodyguard, you know, hey, pop chicks, you know, hey, you know, hang around me, you know, whatever guy could dream of, right? You know, when you're wasn't really that popular. And so, um, so basically, I, uh, tendency to, you know, help other people out with my stuff that I learned and some of the women around school they, some of the girls around school were asking me like is that MMA or what, what is it you know because MMA was first starting coming out and they thought well it was like wrestling or something they thought it was like WWE fighting and the way on how I fought and and or it was like Batman you know how, how Batman trains and he's like, are you trying to be like Batman, you know, be like the next Dark Knight or something, or what? And I said, no. I said, I'm just doing it just for therapy. And I said, I'm trying to be strong. I said, I'm tired of being bullied on. And I said, because of what I am. And that's what I told them. And they didn't really liked the fact that I was honest to them about it and the popular girls in school they respected me and they became my best friends and and um yeah i mean did i go out on a date with them i went on a date with one of them and she was a freshman but you know hey you know i was a senior and, you know, she was very, very popular, very beautiful and everything all, all at the same time. And, and 
all the guys were jealous because I was going out to the problem with the most beautiful girl in school. And so I had a tendency to ask her out and everybody was kind of shocked. And But when I asked her out to prom, and at the prom, I became like the most popular guy in school because she told on how well I was well-mannered, how well I treated her, and how well I respected her, and what, how well, you know, we just talked about things in a conversation, how very smart I 